sick and tired of that pesky light. And you know your reservoir has plenty of coolant. You're 100% sure your coolant temperature sensor is not broken. Start off by removing the electrical harness from your reservoir and jumping the wires. The little fucker is still blinking, so that's not our issue. So check the ground terminal on the connector to make sure it has continuity with a digital multimeter. The following wire diagram from Mitchell All Demand shows us that the other wire goes straight to the instrument cluster. And it's the second pin on the connector. On the back of your instrument cluster, disconnect the two wiring harnesses that are connected to it. And the white one is what you're going to be messing with. As you can see, there's a number one clearly indicated in top left corner. Which means the second pin is the one we're looking for. We need to check continuity between this pin and the other connector on the reservoir. Now make sure you put the connector back. Put a little wire in that second pin that connects to your digital multimeter. Then take the ground and complete the circuit. And it should make a sound if it works correctly. You see? The circuit is broken. There should be a connection right now. And even if we turn on the ignition, let's do that. Nothing. So there's our issue. You're gonna have to take this connector and turn it around. Back here, you'd have to cut the zip tie that holds it together. And then this piece will slide out, just like so. Then you'll be able to find the second pin, which is right there, and slice this wire right here. Now, connect a jumper cable between here and just ground this and put this connector back into your instrument cluster and turn on the ignition and see if the light goes away. All right, so here's our wire. We're gonna turn the ignition on. And with the wire not connected to anything, we'll see that the water light comes on after a few moments. There it is. So we'll turn the ignition off and we'll find the ground somewhere. Put it at the ground of the vehicle and just hold it with my finger. And turn the ignition. And as you can see, the ignition has been on. I'm still holding the ground here. The circuit is complete and the light is not shining. So what we need to do is we need to get a wire long enough that we can solder from the back of this instrument cluster and solder it to the positive terminal over there on the connector and then we can fix the problem alright just for shits and giggles I'm gonna let this go and then the light should come on within the next 15 seconds and that's how you know if that's the thing There you go. If you're finding this video helpful, 
Please like and subscribe. Solder this connection. So here I have the wire connected to the sensor. Let's just plug that in and test it. As you can see, the light is not flashing anymore. And if we disconnect it, Then the light comes on again. So that means that fixed our issue. 